the V Trades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now. What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for iShares 20 year treasury bond ETF with the ticker symbol TLT. This was a viewer's request and thank you for donation. If you want a chart analysis guarantee to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So it looks like this stock continues to sell off and the reason being is because we are in a downtrend and if I connect the swings uh, you can see that there is a channel that can be formed and it looks like prices were having support on this side of the channel the support side but this last or um, a few bars ago this red bar is a overshoot of this yellow channel so an overshoot leads to a breakout on the opposite side so I'm expecting that to occur we did see a nice move up, so we could see that second leg up in the next week. So if we do get two, two legs up, that'll probably take us right to the 106 level, and that is near the EMA. So that's the uh, one scenario that could play out. The other thing is that this isn't an overshoot, and the channel is just wider, and we're just going to continue to work down inside of it. So that's another thing we have to look out for, because this uh, downtrend is very aggressive. We are moving at a nice angle, and it's going to the target it's trying to reach. Uh, quickly so very aggressive downtrend looking for lower price targets and let me see what else I can find on this chart uh, you can see that there was this measured move right here that has already played out this was the first leg down this was the second leg and since we did not bounce from this measured move and continue higher this tells me that um, the selling is not over uh, they want to continue to drop the market at lower price targets usually measured moves are marking the end of a trend or a target basically so we had this measure move too uh, this was two legs back two very large legs back and we got a mediocre bounce from it uh, you can see that we just went up barely mark of the horizontal line so this was the bounce from hitting that measure move we went up and now we sold off again so uh, very bearish chart still looking for low price targets in the short term i'm i'm expecting that correction up but it's not guaranteed because we're still inside this slim downtrend channel so as of right now i don't see a bottom uh looking for lower price targets there is this macro downtrend channel in play too if i connect the swings uh you can see that we just had like the third touch back over here connect this down i think it's fitting pretty good against most of the price action and now if we're in, if we are inside this macro channel uh then we got a lot of room to the downside uh, because that's normally where normally the prices go. When we hit the top side, we go to the bottom side. Uh, so, um, as of right now, still bearish. Still look for lower price targets. In the short term, expecting that second leg up to the EMA. Uh, which will probably act as overhead resistance. And then we, and if this is a, um, a breakout of this orange channel, still expecting a retest of these lows. So, uh, still a long way to go to see a bottom. Very bearish chart. And we can go and wrap it up on the weekly chart. And here we have the weekly chart for TLT. Uh, you can see that we are definitely overextended from the EMA. Last time we were overextended, we pulled back to it um, several times. Now we are about the same distance away, but the EMA is kind of pointing more down than we were in the past, so we could stay overextended. Uh, very similar to what we were doing over here, like EMA is pretty much right at the same angle. So uh, we could stay overextended for the EMA, not really looking for a very large retracement. Uh, you can see that for several weeks now, the market has been dropping and the candles are red. We had one week back here in August, late mid, mid to late August, that was green. Every other prior week or even after week is red. So very aggressive down move. They want to continue to drop this market. Uh, we were at a minor support right over here. Mark with the horizontal line, which we just broke. Uh, but it's just a small break, so it doesn't mean we're going to... Um, drop down lower I expect uh, prices to drop down lower but um, we could find some type of support here and just trend sideways like we did over here we don't always have to go down we could go sideways too so after um, just reaching this little target right here we could go sideways um, go and zoom out a little bit more 
you can see that the next target is probably around the $90 level really not a lot of support between this 90 and 100 all level so that's probably the next one and then maybe eventually they reach the low 80s that would be pretty much the all-time lows so as of right now it doesn't look like a bottom to me we made two legs down and that should have been um, an area where prices re should reverse since we didn't do that um, very bearish chart still look for low price targets and I'll give you guys an update next week so thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.